Many of those people powerless in Cortland County tonight are in Homer, which took a heavy punch of severe weather. Storm Team meteorologist John D. Pasquale went down there to survey the damage. Well, it was a rough end to this Wednesday, a wild Wednesday at that across Central New York and, in, and specifically here in the border of Homer, Homer and Cortlandville, where there was a ton of damage, tree damage, power outages, power lines down, uh, just a real mess. And you can see behind me, yes, this tree on top of this house uh, is going to be, uh, you know, definitely several days of cleanup for sure for this homeowner. And many homeowners here across the Homer area uh, in Cortland County. Uh, looks as though with all the way that the damage is, is kind of laying, it's laying in one direction as, uh, as we've been driving around the area here this evening. Uh, based on that, looks like it's straight line wind damage, um, but the National Weather Service may end up coming up here tomorrow uh, on Thursday to survey the damage to see if in fact it was uh, a macro burst or straight line wind damage uh, or a tornado. But based on the damage I've seen here uh, this Wednesday evening, it does look as though it was straight line wind damage. We spoke with the Cortlandville Fire Chief and luckily, despite all the damage, there were no reported injuries as of yet in the area. No reported injuries, which is which is very good. Uh, a lot of power outage in the area. Uh, National Grid's given varying times on, we heard 9, 30, 10 o'clock before power could be back in this area, but uh, the key thing is no injuries. In the Homer area, I'm Storm Team Meteorologist John DePasquale, News Channel 9. John, thanks.